Oh, what do we have here? What? The coloring book? No. <laughs> sure, some call it a coloring book, and that's probably what you think it is, but when I get one of these things and I open it up, what I see is a whole bunch of really cool patterns, woodworking patterns, intarsia patterns, segmentation patterns, which all of those end up being scroll saw patterns because that's generally how you're going to cut them out. So we have all kinds of great stuff. Like, look, that would make a really cool colored segmented piece hanging on the wall. So what you do is you just photocopy the pictures you want, glue it to a board, and cut it out at the scroll saw. Then you can round off the top edges of all the segments that you have cut out and paint or stain the different pieces. So, in a way you are coloring the picture, but not until after you've made a cool piece of wood art out of it. And I see several in here that are going on my to-do list. Like, look at that. That's a cool one. That would look great hanging on the wall in a kid's room or just wherever. So, don't be so quick to discount a coloring book as a child's toy. Because it just may be that your one-year-old is hoarding a stash of really awesome woodworking patterns that you would pay 10 bucks a piece to obtain from a pattern dealer. So, don't ever pass up a chance at least to look, scan through the coloring books at your local Dollar Tree or I think this came from Dollar General, maybe. Any discount store, I'm sure they have them at a lot of stores. But for one buck, I got a whole stack of cool woodworking patterns. All right, go, oh, at, go now and raid your child's bookshelf because they just might own more patterns than you do. Always credit the source and don't sell things you make from other people's drawings unless you have permission. That would be wrong. Your local laws may vary. If you don't know, find out.